guys, Ender Brian 3000 here, and today I am not doing Osu or Minecraft or any other game that you would think I would do. I am playing Brave Frontiers. Brave Frontier is an Android slash iOS game, so it's not a computer game, and I play this whenever I can. Okay, so here's my choices. When I have the computer, I play Osu or Minecraft or some other Steam game. When ha but if I don't have the computer, but have Wi-Fi in my iPod, I'll play this, Brave Frontiers. But then if I don't have ne if I don't have Wi-Fi, but if I don't have Wi-Fi, I'll play Geometry Dash or something. Yeah. Reason why? Because th this is a really fun RPG game. RPG MMO, I think. I think it is RPG MMO. I'm not really sure. But yeah, uh, today, um. Yeah, here's the reason why I'm actually doing this video. Let's see. Uh, come on. Come on. Uh, no, I'm not mad at squad. Oh, that's fine, but... Okay, so this is my team. Yeah. Yeah, you see why now. Uh, okay, so first of all, the the thing about my that video that I just showed you. Um, number one. The audio. What the heck? That was the worst audio quality in like 2012, for God's sake. What was that? I don't know, but that was the worst quality. That worst like quality, for God's sake. I, I, I it's, it's just so. Oh my God, I feel bad for myself. That's how bad it is. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but second, that squad. What was that? Four stars, bunch of four stars. There's like seven stars now, and I had four stars, and I didn't even know what Brave Burst was. It's just so stupid. Like I didn't know what was Brave Burst, so I kept on what do you call, like saving up the Burst Frog, and I had no idea what to do with them. Yeah, and uh, third, um. This video, I'm gonna discuss about eight stars, something different. It's not gonna be a showcase. It is gonna be a showcase. And then I'm gonna show you about the eight stars. So if you want to uh, just listen to the eight, my thoughts on eight stars, just skip to the um, yeah, just skip to whatever time, what, whenever it's gonna be. But yeah. But first, let me let let me show you my squad. Okay, so uh. Okay, so this is my primary squad. This is what I usually use. Three seven stars and two metal mimics. Like, okay, so the leader is a healer. She is Charla, Charla, I think that's how you pronounce her name. But yeah, uh, she gives 40% boost to max HP, max HP and defense boost, BC drop rate, BB gauge fill rate. Yeah, stuff like that. And then her Brave Burst and Super Brave Burst are all healing types, so they don't do any damage at all whatsoever. But I still like this unit because it's pretty good. And I use a Sacred Jewel, like a noob. I just boost all her, what do you call, HP stuff. And her fine gem that prevents her from getting any, what do you call, like debuffs. Like her, like her, what do you call, Brave Burst, a normal one will remove all status elements but then I can't activate the brave burst if what do you call I can't activate the brave burst if I got a debuff or some sort of like curse if I had curse that will block the burst bra bra brave burst yeah but then if I have this uh, jewel if I have this um, sphere on her she won't get any debuffs at all whatsoever so she'll be protected and she'll always be able to uh, do her brave burst and my next seven star is this guy right here, Ice Bastion Zelda. She, he, his leader skill gives twenty percent or thirty percent boost to max HP and defense, and probable slight damage reduction. That that's okay to a certain degree, but then like that's what that's basically what like what do you call it, the leader I just showed you does and more BB God and stuff like that. That's why I prefer like that OP healer rather than Bastion Zelda. They'll do. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, yeah. By the way, if you can't tell, this is a global version, not the Japanese version. I used to play on the Japanese version, but then I was like, screw you, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. This 
her his super brave burst is only a combo, so basically she won't she would just like attack. That's it. She won't do anything else. And uh, he's a guardian, um, but he is a defense unit, so I guess it's fine being a guardian. Gives more defense. It's, it's defense is like higher than the others. It's, it's fine. Starblade. I think that just boosted BB God and stuff like that. Oh yeah, and his ultimate brave burst will what do you call? Raise his uh, chant. What will what do you call? They boost the attack of all units. Related to relative to their defense, so that's something to note for. Then my next one is Kikiri, everyone's favorite super kawaii unit. Okay, her attack and defense is really decent. HP, it's fine. Oh, it's like that because I equipped the spherical only eight. It only um, boosts attack and defense thirty percent though. An evil halberd. I think that like gives units debuffs that gives the what do, i mean gives what do you call the people debuffs the enemies that's good her super brave verse and brave verse it's fine it's really good oh yeah and her leader skill is just like boost bb god i think that's it yeah and here's my most newbie strategy i have two metal mimics what the heck am i doing Okay, so here's the thing. I have two metal mimics, one with a ruler shield and another with a well, it's actually a purple one. I forgot what it's called. Uh, another one with a dog, 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 dogma shield or whatever. Um, why would you attack? What would you um, raise a defense to a unit where his defense is already like freaking old freaking peak? Well, here's the reason why. Well, I'll actually show that to you later. But yeah, that's this is my primary unit. Squad, and I, I like it. I, I really like it. This is my secondary squad. It's my attack squad. My last one is more like a defensive squad, and like I use that one more than this one. I used to use this one more often. But here, uh, Kiri, I have her as a leader. She boosts, um, she boosts attack of all units if they're dark type. Um, her, their, um, attack will be double the 100% boost to attack power of all dark types, and usually with BB Gods fill rate. That's good. And I also have another 7 star, the, you know, Ice Bastion Zeldus, or however you pronounce it. And then there's, uh, I forgot his, uh, I think it was, uh, come on, uh, Kaja, Kaja, I don't really know. But yeah, his attack is pretty high because I have a hollow sword. I think that um, increases his attack and HP by 40% or something like that. He's a 6 star because there's no 7 star for him. And he greatly boosts attack of units with HP or less. But that leader skill is pretty uh, bad, so I'm not going to use that. But his super brave verse, brave verse, that kind of stuff, he's pretty good at it. And then, of course, I have two mental limits. And I still have, like, a lot of space left in my, uh, squad. But then, you know what? This squad is decent for attack. It runs out of defense a lot, so, um, if I'm gonna use this, I want I need to have a friend who actually has a good, um, healing or high defense unit. So, yeah, these two are my, um, s primary squads. But here is, like, I still have other seven stars. Here is one of my seven stars. This, I think this is like the only, this is like fourth seven star I have. This okay, Emerald Ra Radiance Libera. She, oh, however you pronounce her name, but she is a anima, and she, her, her, um, what do you call leader skill is good. It's good, and I, I like it. But her braver, super bravers, and ultimate bravers, I like that one too. But then I don't really care for. And I don't use her that often, even though she is, like, one of the most popular units of all time. I don't use her that much because of, um, having Kikiri in the Bash unit. Yeah, stuff like that. And she's awesome. I also have all these other units. Oh my god, all these extra units that no one even cares about. Okay, I'm gonna sell them real quick. But then I also have Gravian, my starter, Lance. I think it's the name. Yeah, it's Lance. I have Gravian, Lance... Triton, um, Zildus, yeah, I already showed you that, uh, I forgot her name, it was a Aisha, the dude that looks like Kasuna, Kagamine Rin, yeah, I, I, I used to use her a lot, and then, 
Deja. And then I have Vargas. Six star Vargas, not seven star quite yet. Yeah. And also I have this guy, the uh, limited edition second anniversary one. And uh, Ultor, which I need to, what do you call him? Pass the, uh, like, Soulbound Saga, like dungeons. And then I have this other fire guy that I don't really care about. But I still keep her because can. And then I have uh, Carl. Uh, but this one took me forever. He's a, he's a five star, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I also got the limited edition demo. And this guy. I don't know her name that much. But yeah, she is pretty good. So, um, yeah. And then I have Grodens. Five star, I think. Yeah, I think so. It's five star. But yeah. Um, oh yeah, I also have this like guy. But no one even cares about him anymore. Yeah, uh, so, um, that's basically it, so let's get started. Okay, hopefully I can do a summon at the end of this video. But, I'm gonna start on the quest. Deal with it. Um, Agni, and I do quests a lot. I do quests, like, a lot because of the two times e XP received, EXP received those two times. And I like that. And it, it, it like makes me level up like way faster uh yeah hopefully this can make me level up and get a gem and do a summon and also redeem my what do you call level thing but yeah let's get started so i am doing guild light by the way i um disabled all the brave burst effects and stuff like that because if i enable them it's gonna lag like hell because my device is horrible uh deal with it yeah let's use you know i don't really care i'm gonna use this guy she boosts BB Gaja. Feel right. Okay, so if I get everything prepared, I will start um auto and start talking about eight stars. But um first, real quick, I have to do this. Yeah, I think yeah, I, I choose the right squad. I sometimes I get that. Okay, the good thing about this is that they boost the uh, what do you call HP is like twelve thousand. Every new wants to like boost their HP. I'm not as good as Ushi, this famous Brave Frontier YouTuber. I'm not as good as him, and everyone knows that no one's better than him. But yeah, I'm using the uh, Metal Mimic strategy that he taught everyone. But I'm using a little bit of a, a bit of a different strategy. Oh wait, I could start out. Okay, I could almost start out. He's bringing for some Bravers and Auto. Okay, so let's start talking about eight stars. My thoughts on eight stars. Well, eight stars are pretty decent. Um, I mean, they're not out yet, and they don't. The what do you call company isn't even talking about releasing them yet. And I don't care. Like, if if with the eight stars of the game, it'll be awesome. But here's the thing. This is a con. Um, the cost. The cost would be so high. It'll be so high. Like. From like five see here, I forgot from one to four star, but from four stars to five star. Like four stars they're like ten to twelve cost and then five stars they're like seventeen to twenty, maybe fifteen to twenty. It depends. But yeah, that's how good five stars. Are. Fifteen to twenty cost. Then there's six stars with uh twin No wait, no wait, I'm sorry, it's fifteen to seventeen. Then six stars, it'll be about twenty to the lowest, like the starter units, twenty to uh twenty seven and thirty is high. It's like thirty something like that. And then the next one is thirty-nine to forty. Thirty-eight to forty-two. Like seven stars is thirty-eight to forty-two costs. That is a lot. Like that is a lot of cost, and even though you're level 200 or something, or even 300, your cost would be, it'll be about 240. Like you'll have a cost limit about like 240 or something like that. You like there, you'll barely have enough space for seven stars. So imagine eight stars. Like from the pattern I've been seeing on how much um how much they increase um the um, cost. They're gonna probably increase it by 10 or 20. If they're gonna make an 8 star. If it's big as 10 to 20, the cost would be about 50 to 60. If it's like 50 to 60, that'll be insane. Like 5 
You only need 300 costs to have, like, like, all of them. And that is basically not a good sign. Yeah. So, like, be so my final thought. Be so, eight stars. If they add 8 stars, it'll be a fun game. It'll be more challenging for the pros who are so good at this game. Unlike me. Um, yeah, it'll be a very good add-on. And I'll be challenged by it. And everyone will start to get it. And that's another con. Like, everyone will start to get it. Even the newbies, noobs, even like level 50s will try to go for like a super rare 7 star. Super rare 8 stars. And then their, their squad would be freaking horrible because of space at all whatsoever yeah like when I started Brave Frontiers like I did a video back then in like December 1st but then in like like I started way before that I probably started when the global one like just came out yeah that's when I started and I didn't really like like it, that was pretty good like I, I used to play the game a lot but then, like, I probably started, like, when the global version just came out, and when that came out, like, I think six stars weren't even a thing yet. I think this, I'm not really sure if six stars were from, like, here from the beginning, but, like, six stars were, like, like just, like, new stuff. New stuff, and everyone was, like, trying to get them. And I, I liked it. Um... I didn't even go for it, and I was happy having four stars. I didn't even level them up. They were just like, I was happy having four stars. That's how bad I was. Afterwards, um, started taking the game more seriously, and then I got more stuff, and yeah, like, you know, like seriously, um, like people used to say six stars were good. Then, now look, six stars are like freaking horrible for all the pros out there. Everyone use seven stars, no, no one use six stars in their team if they're a pro. And I prefer not to use six stars. Yeah. And if it's if they introduce eight stars, everything will be more complicated, but that's not the point. Like, that's not really the point yet. Yeah, that's the problem. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, Mimic. But, um, so basically, that that's going to be the problem. And I hope that they, they will add 8 stars, maybe. But then they'll have to change, like, the system of everything. And I'm fine with that, but sometimes pros don't like that. And before they actually introduce 8 stars, I want them to make a 7 star version of all the Vocaloids out there. Ren, Ren, Mika, Mika. Miku, Luka, uh, there's more, like, oh god, don't, don't, okay. Rin Ren, Miku, Luka, Meiko, and Kaito. Like, I want there to be a 7 star version. Like, 7 star version of those, before they actually introduce 8 stars. Okay, so now, I will, sh now I'm done with the 8 star thing, Trigger. I will, uh, show you why I equipped a defense sphere on my mental memory. Here's the thing, I'll first have to overdrive the Ice Bash and do the Zelda, I don't, really, I don't even care anymore. But yeah, um, and I'll use, I'll just ultimate Brave Burst this. It'll do full degeneration. Okay, that was good, that was okay, but that's not the point. See, like, this guy, his ultimate Brave Burst will, um, increase the attack by the, um, defense of that person. That unit. And since the uh, um, Metal Mimic's unit defense is so high, his attack will be also extremely high. His attack will be really high. Let me show you. Like, maybe it's like 50,000 now, but... Wait, what? Oh, yeah, 30,000, that's fine. But then when it's like a light type, like 100,000, something, it might, it might be better. But then, like, usually it's about something like that. 30,000, 50,000, fine. Like, without the sphere, they'll be about like 20,000. Then with the spheres, it's about 30,000 damage to hit. And that's not that good, but it is good as a super brave verse of a 7 star. Yeah, and a couple of ultimate brave verse. If you have like three of them, it'll be good as like a good as like the old or ultimate brave verse, and that's why I use it. And here's a good thing since this will last for three turns, this guy can do like a lot of damage for three turns. 
And if this guy gets crit, it's like 50,000. And then if it was a light type, and if you crit him, it's about 100,000. And if you have, uh, what do you call it? Friend that'll boost crit, um, hit rate, and damage for him, it it'll be awesome. Yay. Oh, yes, I, I got one cost. That that's fine. That's fine. That's that is good. Now, please say you got a gem. Yep, I got a gem. Thank you. No, I'm not gonna do Facebook because my parents don't allow me. Yeah, I know. So sad. Um, yeah, I have five gems now, so I can sell my freaking god unit. So, sell, 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 sell. Oh my god, I have so many fire types. I don't even care about you people. I hate you. Yes, continue with my sale. Uh, now I can summon. Everyone has been waiting for this moment. I have four gems. Oh my freaking god, I hate this bug. No, wait, wait, wait. Let me see if I can fix this bug in the game. Because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And when it doesn't, I'm just like, freaking annoyed by this whole thing. I'll go restart the game real quick and I'll be right back. Oh, wait, but. Oh, wait, no, it's fixed. It's fixed. Okay, Super Rare Summon. Yay! Super Rare Summon. It says minimum five stars with five gems. It, like, this one just came out today, and I'm happy. I love this. Please be a good unit. Please be a unit that I still don't have. I don't have right now. Please be a unit that I don't have. Because I keep on getting the unit that I have, and I'm just pissing me off like that. I, 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 no, this guy's horrible. I, I can already tell. It's, it's not a dude. It's not a person. In fact, it's not a person. I could already tell that this guy's horrible. Actually, it's not... No, it's horrible. He needs thunder. He's a thunder type. Okay, there's something else I don't know. Okay, can I evolve him to six? Yeah, I can evolve him to six. Star. That's okay, I guess. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, and I could also do the level up campaign. Ooh, uh, level up campaign. Since I'm in that level ninety four now. I th what what I get? I forgot what. I think I got some sort of. No, I, I didn't get a sphere. No, like one gem is like level level ninety eight. So not yet. So, oh yeah, I got the my, almighty imp a r r r time. How do you pronounce this guy's name? Yeah. Yeah, I, I got our time. Congrats to myself. Uh, yeah. So uh, eight stars. It'll be good, but hopefully not going to be implemented soon. Oh, well. Yeah, I think I'm going to end it here. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like and sub. And I'll put the link, a bunch of links in the description below. And I'll see you guys later. Take care and bye-bye. Yeah.